Hi to all you guys out there in YouTube land. This is me, DR, with a slightly husky voice, sounding all sexy like. So, welcome. Joining me on my uh, daily walk. Um, subject for today? Not really sure. Didn't really think this out. I have to kind of come up with subjects as I go. One of the things I've found is how many people that I've spoken to recently that don't really understand the connection between things like. Judaism, Christianity and Islam and I know pretty much everyone on YouTube will be like oh that's obvious but it's amazing that people actually don't understand the actual deep seated connection between all three so I recently had a real kind of long discussion where I kind of just defined them in very simplistic terms now you know, hear me out YouTube obviously I'm not going into a, a deep philosophical um, a, a discussion about, about similarities and so on and so forth so I've kind of summed it up like this Jews believe the first book, Christians believe two books, and uh, anyone who follows the, uh, the, uh, the third religion, the third option, anyone who's a Muslim believes three books. Simple as. Now I know you can talk about hadiths and you can talk about various different add-on subjects and so on and so forth, but essentially that's what you're talking about. When you're talking about Abrahamic religions, you're talking about your three different, three, three three books as such. Now I know I've simplified that to the, but th th it kind of gives a connection and it's amazing that actually all three religions believe very very similar things up to a point, you know, all the part of if you want to say their canon, if you want to use a comic book term, is actually quite similar and to me that's fascinating that actually th or the, along the same family tree can have such extreme differences about the subtleties of, each, of, 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 of the narrative. And to me, that's been a fascinating kind of thing. As I said to you yesterday, there's done a lot of dialogue and a lot of talking, and a lot of talking with people. It's been quite interesting having what you call like friendly debates rather than the whole kind of, you're wrong, you're wrong. That's, that's, that's been a fascinating experience. And I've learned actually a great deal from, from from doing things like that because I've learned that actually when you get down to the nitty gritty when you get people in a safe and comfortable environment you get there's a there isn't that kind of vitriol that you get when you have your online debates and stuff like that so actually you find that people have a lot more common ground and actually people tend to have a very humanist view of things when you really get down to it. But if you, you only really find that when you take people out of their comfort zone and into sort of a safer and more easy, easy to discuss environment. God, wow, why am I this? I can't even form that sentence, it's crazy. But yeah, what I wanna know is, what have you found guys? When you're outside of the frame of videos and you're outside of this, this platform and this forum, how have you found discussions? I know the video's moving. There is my hand. I can't keep it like this all the time. <laughs> anyway, this is me, DR, with my morning thought. God, it's like a morning thought now. It's like a morning diatribe, like a, 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 a verbal explosion. God, that's not the uh, greatest, uh, greatest metaphor to use today. Anyway, this is DR saying peace out. Stick in the comments. Give me some feedback. When have you had discussions with people and you found that actually the discussions you're having you found that there's more common ground. Oh, look at me, sharing peace and love. Anyway, as I said, this is DR, saying peace out, have a safe journey wherever you're heading. Aha!